We all want to grow our business, but how do you scale effectively without losing your mind or the quality of your service for your clients? Let's break down three pivotal strategies with practical actions for each. My name is Eric Anthony Klima. I'm the CEO of PT Legends, where we help online fitness coaches like yourself and personal trainers scale their business. If you're new here, make sure you hit that freaking subscribe button to join our community of game changers. Today, we're diving into the nitty gritty of scaling your business with actionable steps that you can start implementing right away. First off, automation. It's like cloning yourself to do the grunt work while you focus on what really matters. I know, it sounds sexy, right? So here's how you can start. The first thing that you wanna do is identify repetitive tasks. Start with tasks that you do daily, or weekly that can be standardized. That can be things like client onboarding emails, onboarding calls, or even appointment scheduling and people messaging inside of your DMs. I like to choose the things that I hate doing the most that are taking up the most of my time so I can allocate that time towards the things that are actually gonna grow the business. Number two is choose your freaking tools wisely. I prefer using an all-in-one software so you don't have to have chaos and messiness in your business, and also so you can grow and scale your business efficiently. You can use a software like our software, Legends 360, and I'll leave the link for that below. But if you don't wanna use that, that's totally fine. You can look into tools like Calendly for scheduling sales calls, Active Campaign for email automation is a great application as well, or Zapier to connect all these different apps together and automate your workflows. The only problem with using Zapier and all of these things together is that, again, it gets very messy having 20 different applications, which is why we put all of those features and applications into our one software to work more efficiently. Regardless, you wanna pick one process to automate, set it up, always test it yourself, then move on to the next. This way there, you don't get overwhelmed. Remember that the goal is to automate without losing your personal touch always keep that fine balance. Next, we had diversifying your income streams in your business. Not meaning to start a bunch of different businesses and make money here, make money there, but instead just create more ways to make more money in the business that you currently have. More streams of income in that business mean more stability. So here's how to broaden your revenue sources in your one single business. The first one is online courses, or you could do workshops. This is where you can share your expertise. You can use platforms like School. This is probably my favorite one at the moment. It's super easy to use, and it makes it really easy to combine community while making courses that offer value. The second thing is membership programs. This is where you can offer exclusive content, community access, or ongoing coaching programs. This gives you recurring revenue and builds a loyal community. Again, you can use School for this. The third thing is physical or digital products. Think about like eBooks, workout plans, or even fitness gear branded to your business. The key here is to dive in with one new stream at a time, master it, and then expand to others. Don't spread your time thin, trying to do them all at once and just having a complete mess at all these different ways you're trying to diversify your income in your business. Master one and then go on to the next. Next we have building a team. Guys, building a team can catapult your business, and I wanna show you how to do it the right way. First thing you wanna do is identify your needs. So very similar to automation. However, I would automate before you delegate to keep your revenue high and to keep you profitable. So you wanna identify your needs. So just start by listing out tasks that consume most of your time or areas outside of your expertise that you cannot automate. That might be marketing, it might be sales, it might be messaging, or that could be even customer service, depending on where you're at with your business. Number two is hire smart. Look on freelancers on platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, LinkedIn has been my favorite one in my own personal experience. Even your network, you can get really, really good hires for specific tasks. What you probably wanna consider first, if you're in the beginning of the buildup of your business, is to consider a virtual assistant to manage your day-to-day -day operations. Typically, it's only four to five dollars per hour for a VA if you get them from the Philippines, and you can easily find them on LinkedIn to do your outreach for you, which means more book calls for your business. You can also have them do client management, do clean up work in your business, and whatever other tasks that are taking up the time that you don't want to do or you do not need to do. Next, you wanna set clear goals and expectations. When you bring someone on, 
you have to have clear goals for them and communication channels that are easy and asynchronous. Tools like Slack for communication and Asana for project management can help you keep everyone on track, organize and elevate your business. Investing in the right people not only helps you scale your business and gives you more freedom, but also ensures that you're delivering a quality of service to your clients. For example, eventually, as you're scaling your business, you're gonna be constrained by fulfillment, meaning serving your clients. If you get someone that's in your business who's even better than you, not only are you just gonna deliver more value, but this gives you more time back to focus on growing and scaling the business. Now listen, scaling your business is a marathon, not a sprint. But by taking deliberate steps in automation, diversifying your income, and building a team, you're paving the way for sustainable growth, success, and fulfillment. Start small by implementing these actions here, adjust as you learn what works best for you and your business, and if you found this breakdown to be helpful, smash that freaking like button for me, share it with your fellow coaches, and subscribe for more actionable insights. If you're ready to scale, let's make this thing happen together, and we'll see you in the next video.